Let me give you a quick demo of another application that I like to, to watch a lot of uh, over-the-content media, and that's the Zinc browser. I'm going to use my remote again and the button that I programmed to launch it up at the top. Should bring up Zinc here. One of the nice things about Zinc is it's actually, or at least one of the ways that it's implemented is with a Firefox plugin shown here. And I think this is what allows it to have the, the most compatibility with all the different sources of web content out there. So to the websites, this looks just like a, a web browser, and that probably helps quite a bit. I can uh, navigate within the application here with the same buttons. And let's uh, watch some content here, say, from uh, Austin City Limits. And uh, wow, lots of stuff here. Let's select one here, and then hit play. Probably takes a minute to start up here. Here we go. Now, I could watch this intro, but let, let's skip to some point in the middle here. I'm using the mouse button here. Austin City Limits presents Modern Sight. Now, to, to exit it, I actually have to close the window like it's a browser. So I use the mouse capability here go up to the upper right hand corner and close the window and then it exits. So the interfaces for Hulu, Boxy, and Zinc are all slightly different but each one of them is close enough that I can use this remote and control it without reaching for the keyboard. That's nice. So between uh, those three applications and others or even websites you can watch just about any content that uh, is currently available on the web.